What is up in the world? Dinah, Mike, RC. I just wanted to show everybody here. So I picked this thing up. The Armor Granite. This is the Mega 550 RDR uh, version. So I uh, picked this up from Horizon Hobby. And wanted to open it up. I'm sure everybody's seen all the other videos of this, um, this bad boy. So... I just thought I would post up one of my own here. And, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at this and get this box off here. And let's see. Of course, we all know what we get inside. Um, manual, controller, and, uh, of course, our truck. Open this up here. So, got the SLT3. So, we got this guy, of course. That's the armor. Low line vehicles. Gonna come with that. And then this is the charger, which is um, junk. So, definitely not going to use that. And, so, got the manual there. A few of the tools, hex key, um, little shock savers, whatever they're called. But, anyway, so, yes, indeed. So, let's see. So, this is, this bad boy, I went with the red and white. Eh, I think it was pretty cool. Let's take off the plastic. This is so refreshing here. And get a good look at this bad boy. The nice finish. Wow. Looks so good when they're clean and new. Yep. Got the tires. I don't know if these are, uh, I guess these are 14 millimeters. Uh, 14 millimeter hexes. So the um, the boots fortress. Is that what these are? Fortress. Yes. Yes, the fortress. So all right, let's pop the body off of here and take a look at this big bad mega mega system setup. The 12 turn 550 brushed motor and ESC, and then it comes with the NIMH uh, or the nickel metal hydride battery. Let's see, pull this out of here. We got it clipped in right there, which we're not going to be using this. So I'll hang on to it, but I don't use those. I'm going to use um, my lipos. You got to move the switch uh, right in there. So that's got to be switched over. Um, got to be switched over when you're running the lipo because it's set up for the nickel metal there. So anyways, but looks great. You know, nice and clean nice and clean uh but yeah this is the four-wheel drive version uh four by four version and um and of course the shocks they feel yeah they're all good but yes indeed so got that oh what else do we got here so and I'm going to run, probably do one of my two-cell 50C. We'll put that in there. Like I said, get the switch over and run that. Um, this has got the IC3, uh, three, IC3, and I've got one here, IC3. So that'll go hand-in-hand hand once I get all that switched over. But uh, otherwise, just wanted to show this off. 
And, uh, yeah, just letting everybody know what I picked up. We will get some uh, speeds on this bad boy. And uh, see how fast it goes. Did I put that on the right? Yes, So, we'll get some speeds on this bad boy and see uh, how fast it goes. I mean, maybe we'll do the nickel metal hydride, um, get a speed there, and then to see if we get anything faster on the lipo. You know, what are we going to gain? Maybe one, two miles an hour faster, maybe. Or it could be just the same. But either way, we'll take it out, and let's get a run on this bad boy. And we'll uh, go from there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I am back out here with this guy. I have got this thing taped down with some painter's tape. I hope that'll hold it. I mean, it's just a mega, surely to God. That'll hold it. I got this bad boy charged up. We are going to put in this thing in a minute. We'll switch it over and put this on and just get a few speeds. Just see what it says. So let's go ahead and get this fired up. And... Let me get my phone uh, switched over to the GPS, and we'll see what we got here. All right, cool. Very good. I get this thing plugged in here. Let's get this put on, <clears throat> and we'll test it out and see see what we got with the uh, NIMH battery and then we'll go to the LiPo and see what um, we, re we record, see if there's any difference. Any difference. All right, so track there, start, and I'm gonna push this all the way over to um, 100. 100% um, throttle. And my steering looks good. Steering looks good for now anyways, as is. All right, make sure nothing's coming back there. Okay. Here we go. I guess it really don't matter too much on my steering <laughs> considering this thing's probably doing 19 miles an hour which it is pulling a little bit uh, let's see if we can get this switched up or get this adjusted rather all right let's bring it back down All right, nickel metal hydride right here. Full throttle. And one more time. And then we'll switch it over to the lipo. That's pretty weak. This bad boy definitely needs a brushless motor. All right, come on, buddy. Let's see. Okay, let's see what our top speed was. 21, wow, I'm amazed. I honestly thought that was like 19 miles an hour. So let's get uh, the lipo put in it and let's try that and see what we got here. So let's take this back loose. Take that out. Let's kill this and take this loose out. All right, bear with me here. Get that out. Let's get this slipped in. We're gonna see if this thing will do any better at all. So just a quick backstory why I acquired this granite. So of course I didn't own one, but I do own the granite Grom. You probably saw the videos of that. 
and um, I do on the Grom, so um, I thought oh, I'd pick me up a granite. So I had some old Game Boy, Game Boy Advance um, systems that I parted ways with. So I got a few dollars for that, and I thought, you know what? Since I got um, rid of that, I would get uh, or pick me up a granite full-size granite of course this guy one day will be going brushless but um anyways pick this thing up and uh um the game system that i had I actually got that given to me by a customer so i didn't pay nothing for it so I parted ways with that and uh thought i'd pick this up from hobby town my local hobby town and um, I like the color though, the red and white. I think it looks pretty cool if you ask me. So, okay, there we go. We're all switched over. And let's get this started up. We'll see if we do any better. On the LiPo, we had 21 miles an hour for the uh, NIMH. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks a little bit faster, but we'll see. So it's at 100% throttle. Maybe not, because I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. Let's bring it back down. I hope y'all are picking this up, too, on camera. All right, one more pass. That is full throttle. All right, last time. Yeah, this thing's definitely got to be brushless. I'm gonna have to get up with my girlfriend, Jenny, Jenny's RCs, and uh, hook up on something from there. But, okay. What do we got, my friend? 21 was the last one. Let's see if there's anything better here. 21. Just like I was thinking, it's going to be probably the same. There's no difference from the LiPo. Uh, maybe with the 100C LiPo, you may get another mile an hour faster. But otherwise, if y'all are seeing that, 21 miles an hour. So, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, we'll get a brushless system put in this thing. and uh, check it out, but that ought to be a uh, big difference, going from two cell to three cell brushless. That's just the way to go. Look at that. There goes my GPS, which is fine. It don't need to be on there anymore anyways. Oh yeah. You dang right. Anyways, thanks for everybody tuning in, checking out the videos. I've also got the uh, low C um, 18th scale LMT mini monster truck, the Grave Digger. And uh, I need to post up a video for you guys about that so um or i'm going to post up a video uh with that one and uh see what y'all think but we'll get some speeds with that with the little Lucy mini monster truck but anyways everybody thanks for tuning in this is dynamite rc i hope everybody's doing well out there in the world but we're gonna call it quits with the granite. So I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up and check out some speeds uh, with the GPS. We'll see you on the guys on the next round. Thank you, always, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.